All right, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, sorry for the delay due to certain technical errors. Thoda sa hume delay hua hai. And now we will be moving towards the questions. But uh, before moving on towards the question, guys, uh, let me just recall the few important concepts which we discussed in the last class. We started with the introduction to cost and management. Initial level per we discuss about the three important functions of cost and management, which include planning, decision making, evaluation, and and <coughs> evaluation and appraisal. Later on, we discuss cost structures, ko discuss the classification of cost, ko dekha tha, or classification of that. cost can be categorized on the basis of element, cost can be categorized on the basis of nature, cost can be categorized on the basis of behavior as well. When we talk about element, the cost ke three different element ho sakte hain. Cost can be a say for example, a cost can be uh, categorized element ke basis pe. A cost can be a material related cost, a cost can be a labor related cost, and a cost can also be overhead related cost. Then we move towards. Apart from this, we move towards the classification on the basis of nature. When we categorize cost on the basis of nature, cost can be Direct cost as well as indirect cost. Direct cost is a cost which is directly attributable, associated, traceable, identifiable to a particular unit cost. This means direct material, direct labor, and direct production expenses are there. And we all know the sum of all the direct costs is called prime cost. Indirect cost, which are also called overheads, the cost which is not directly associated or related to production, but which is a part of cost of production. Then we move towards behavior, which is the important aspect, and we discuss about variable cost and fixed cost. Variable cost, kya hai? The cost which varies due to variances in output level. In total, variable cost increase hoti hai, but per unit variable cost hamesha kya rehti hai? Constant. Fixed cost is the cost which remain constant in total in short run, but as we are going to increase the output level, per unit fixed cost decreases because fixed cost larger output level per spread out ho jati hai. Humne in ka behavior graphical method ke zariye bhi discuss kiya tha. Phir humne total cost ke baare mein discussion kiya tha ki total cost is total variable cost plus total fixed cost and the equation of total cost is similar to the equation of straight line which is y equals to mx plus c. Right guys? And then later on, then later on we move towards a uh, calculation of profit as well total revenue minus total cost we can calculate the amount of profit humne ek simple si example ki thi jisme hum total cost calculate kiya tha different activity level par ki kis tarah se variable cost ko output level ke change hone se hum change karte hain but uska per unit constant rehta hai and fixed cost in total kya rehti hai constant ek example maine aapko yahan pe solve karwai thi ek ghar pe karne ke liye di thi hum us example ko dekhenge and then we'll move ahead as well right kids so let's start with the work um so before we actually move ahead uh, have a quality check quality check hum kar lete hain ki if you all can listen to me clearly just raise your hands through the application just raise your hands if you can listen to me clearly if you can listen to me just raise your hands guys If you can listen to me, just raise your hands. Waiting for Aman, Jawad, Lina, Rukaya, Sibga, Sufyan. If you guys can listen to me clearly, just raise your hands. All right. Without a delay, we'll start with the work, guys. We'll start with the work. All right. So uh, we'll start with our last example. Last class, we have discussed an example. Discuss kiya tha, just me the following information was available. Uh, the direct material. In order to produce a single unit, each unit requires three kg of raw material, costing dollar four per kg. That means if single unit requires or consumes three kg, the cost per kg is four. That means what is our total material cost? Our total material cost is dollar twelve per unit. Three kg into dollar four per kg. 
direct labor each single unit requires 0.75 hours of labor 45 divided by 60 that makes 0.75 hours and the wage rate is dollar 8 per hour that makes dollar 6 per unit the labor cost is dollar 6 per unit then we have overheads or indirect cost but by behavior they are the variable cost which is dollar 5 per unit so this is also our variable cost. Material and labor is also our variable cost. Variable production overheads be our variable cost, hai, which is dollar five per unit. Then we have variable sales overheads. Sir, variable sales overheads are dollar two per unit. Fixed production overheads, fixed admin overheads, fixed sales overheads are part of fixed cost. Therefore, Baki Jo Maripas cost there. This is all variable cost, which include direct material, direct labor, variable production overheads, and variable sales overheads. 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 5, 23 plus 2, that makes 25 per unit. So, what is our marginal cost? Marginal cost per unit, variable cost per unit is $25. $25 is our variable cost per unit, which is also called marginal cost per unit because variable cost is also called the marginal cost. Now, if we total fixed cost, ka total kare, to fixed cost ka total is 80,000 plus 60,000 plus 40,000. The total of the fixed cost is 80 plus 60 plus 40. That makes 180,000. Right, kids? This is our total fixed cost. TFC means this is our total fixed cost. Now we need to calculate the total cost at output level of 10,000 units, 30,000 units, 18,000 units, and 50,000 units. Variable cost per unit we calculate kar marginal cost per unit calculate kar chuke. Now we will be calculating the total cost at different output level. So what are our output levels given, sir? We need to calculate the total cost at 10,000 units. 10,000 units ke lawa, we need to calculate total cost at 18,000 units. Then we need to calculate total cost at 30,000 units. And we need to calculate total cost at 50,000 units. And how do we calculate total cost? Total cost is total variable cost plus total fixed cost. Sir, what is our total variable cost? What per unit variable cost was $25. 25 multiplied by 15, sorry, 25 multiplied by 10,000 units. 10,000 multiplied by 25, that makes 250,000. The per unit variable cost will be multiplied with the total, total output level. The per unit variable cost will be multiplied with the total output level. The per unit variable cost was 25 multiplied by 10,000, that is 250,000. Then 18,000 multiplied by 25, that is 450,000. Now you see, as the output level is increasing, total variable cost is increasing, but the per unit variable cost remains same, that is 25. 30,000 multiplied by 25, that makes the total variable cost to be 750,000. And then 50,000 multiplied by 25, the total variable cost is 1,250,000. These are our total variable cost and plus total fixed cost. Fixed cost come in total. We had three different types of fixed cost, which include fixed production cost, which include fixed admin cost, which include fixed sales overheads. Therefore, the total fixed cost is 180,000. Despite no matter, we are producing 10,000 units, 18,000 units, 30,000 or 50,000, our total fixed cost will remain same. That is 180,000. 
at all activity level, the total fixed cost will remain 180,000. So now total variable cost plus total fixed cost, we can calculate our total cost. So sir, 250 plus 180, the total cost is 430,000. 450 plus 180, the total cost is 630. 750,000 plus 180,000, total cost is 930,000. 1,250 plus 180,000, the total cost is 1,430,000. So total fixed cost plus total variable cost will give us the concept or we can grab the total cost. So uh, we are done with the second requirement as well, where we are required to calculate the total cost at different output level. Now we need to calculate, we need to calculate the profit or loss at different activity level. And what are these different activity levels? These are 15,000, 30,000, 36,000 and 70,000. So now we will be calculating profit and how do we calculate profit? So profit is calculated as total revenue minus it's total revenue minus total cost. It's total revenue minus total cost. So, so now we need to calculate the profit at different output level and profit kill your total revenue minus total cost. Less total cost. And how do we calculate total cost? Total cost is total variable cost plus total fixed cost. Total variable cost, total fixed cost. The total revenue may some total variable cost, total fixed cost minus karenge so we can get to the amount of what profit or loss. I must say camel jaiga profit or loss. We will be able to calculate profit or loss. So, sir, first of all, we need to calculate our total revenue at 15,000 units. 15,000 units multiply by the selling price. What is our selling price? Selling price is 30. So 15,000 into 30 is 450,000. Then 30,000 into 15, that is 25, sorry, 30. 30 multiplied by 30,000 units, that makes 900,000. Then 36,000 into 30 is 1,080,000. Then 70,000 into 30 is 2,100,000. Variable cost. How do we calculate total variable cost, which is variable cost per unit into output level? And what is our variable cost per unit, sir? It was 25. 25 multiplied by 15,000 units, that is 375,000. 25 multiplied by 30,000, that makes 750,000. 25 multiplied by 36,000, that makes 900,000. 
and then 25 into 70,000 that makes 1,750,000. And then sir, we have total fixed cost and what is our total fixed cost? Total fixed cost is 180,000 which will remain constant at all output, all activity level. Her activity, her output level per it is 180,000. Now, sir, we need to calculate total revenue minus total cost. So, sir, 450 minus 375 minus 180,000. In the first activity at 15,000, we are facing a loss of 105,000. There is a loss of 105,000. Then second, 900 minus 750 minus 180. Still, we are operating at loss and that is loss I've reduced from 105 to 30,000. 30,000. And then, sir, at 36,000 is 1080 minus 900 minus 180. So there is no profit, no loss. That is zero, which means K total revenue at 36,000 units, our total revenue that is 1,080,000 is equal to our total cost, which is also 1,080,000. And total cost is 900,000 plus 180,000. That makes 1080. So at 36,000 units, the profit and loss is equal to zero. The point where the firm is neither making profit nor loss, just activity level per just point where the firm cut total revenue is equal to total cost. The point where the firm is neither making profit nor loss, that particular point is called the break even point. Kya kete hai guys? That's called the break even point. So what happened at 70,000? 70, 70,000 units per we have a revenue of 20, 100,000 minus 1750 variable cost minus 180 fixed cost. We are operating at 170,000. Profit of 170,000. Now, guys, point to be noted. Point to be noted. Before 36,000 units, we were operating at a loss. 15,000 pe hamare loss ka amount zada tha, phir loss hamara shrink hua, shrink hote hote hamara loss zero ho gaya, right? And then after, after an activity point jaha pe profit and loss zero hai, uske upar hame profit hona shuru hua hai. That means if you calculate, if you calculate profit or loss at any activity level before 36,000 units, you will be calculating a loss. Aapki, her activity per you will be calculating loss because if you have 36,000 ke bajaye, apna profit say for example 20 pe calculate karte ho. You calculate your profit at 25, you calculate your profit at 35, there will obviously be a position of loss. But any activity level beyond 36,000 units will obviously be yielding you the profit. Aap 36,000 units se upar kisi bhi activity pe profit and loss calculate karo, you will obviously be calculating the profit. There will be no loss. So that 36,000, 36,000 ek SE situation, ek SE condition, ek SA activity and output level hai, jaha per firm is neither making profit nor loss. And this particular activity, this particular point is called the break even point. What do we call it? We call it as break even point. Right, guys? Our next requirement examiner NMC yehi puchi hai. Ke explain what happened to profit and loss at 36,000. So at 36,000 units, profit and loss is equal to what? Profit and loss is equal to zero. Because at 36,000, the total revenue is equal to total cost. The point at which total revenue is equal to total cost, that particular point, condition, situation, activity, or output level is referred as what? That is referred as break even level of output. What do we call that particular point? We call that particular point as break even point. So at 30, so at 36,000 units, at 36,000 units, the firm or business is neither making profit nor loss. The business is neither making profit nor loss.
is called this point is called as break even point a point where total revenue equals total cost a point where total revenue equals total cost a point where total total revenue equals total cost a point where total revenue equals total cost break even hamare marginal costing ka bahut basic concept hai and obviously we will be going in detail with break even later on jab tak hamara basic concept cover nahi jata fixed cost variable cost ka us waqt tak hum contribution tak nahi pahunch sakte so uh, let's have to move towards the feedback session what do you think guys how are you adopting to this particular concept of fixed and variable cost and how are you managing to calculate the profit and loss at different activity level so kids um last class wali example ko humne recall kiya revise kiya hai ke at different output level how can we calculate the profit and loss right guys so if you have any queries if you have any confusion problem you can just uh you can just participate sir i love you i love you too beta yo i love you awaaz nahi aa rahi sir yes obviously agar total revenue is lower than the total cost that means it's the point where we are operating at loss but a point a point where total revenue equals total cost it's called the break even point and a point where total revenue is higher than the total cost it's called the level of profit jahan pe hum profit earn kar rahe hain so break even point is an activity kisi bhi ek aise output level par jahan pe hum determine kare now you see when a business is planning to introduce a new product when a business is planning to introduce a new product in the market ya hum koi bhi business activity plan karte hain तो हम सबसे पहले ये चीज डिटरमिन करने की कोशिश करते हैं कि हमें एटलीस्ट एटलीस्ट कितने यूनिट्स सेल आउट करने पड़ेंगे सो दैट वी कैन अवॉइड द लॉसेस राइट हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स वी नीड टू सेल टू अवॉइड द लॉसेस राइट गाइस सो ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट किसी भी बिजनेस डिसीजन के लिए एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट होता है कि जहां पर बिजनेस को डिसाइड करना होता है कि यार इफ यू आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू लॉन्च अ न्यू बिजनेस एक्टिविटी तो एटलीस्ट हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स आर नीड टू बी सोल्ड इन ऑर्डर टू अवॉइड लॉसेस एंड दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट इज देयर गोन अ बी ग्राफ क्वेश्चंस यस देयर कैन बी ग्राफ क्वेश्चंस एज वेल uh obviously we will be moving ahead and we will be discussing about margin of safety in discussion like that as well but right now we are not moving towards the concept of contribution and break even but first of all we are staying at total cost and total revenue once the concept of total cost and total revenue is clear the next part would be the contribution and break even and margin of safety right guys any other question any one of you who needs अल्तमशा मेरे घर आ जाओ बेटा ठीक है मैं सब करा दूंगा आपको सर द फिक्स कॉस्ट विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट व्हेन वी आर मेकिंग प्रॉफिट स्टेटमेंट यस एट ऑल एक्टिविटी लेवल एट ऑल आउटपुट लेवल द फिक्स कॉस्ट इज गोइंग टू रिमेन कांस्टेंट नो मैटर यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग प्रॉफिट यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग टोटल कॉस्ट एट ऑल एक्टिविटी ऑल आउटपुट लेवल योर फिक्स कॉस्ट योर फिक्स कॉस्ट विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट ऑल गुड सर सर is it possible selling price per unit is greater than the variable cost selling price is obviously greater than the variable cost hamari normally usually practice yahi hoti hai guys agar example ke taur par suppose example ke taur par i am purchasing this particular pen main ek ye pen purchase kar raha hu ya suppose example ke taur par if i am purchasing this particular pen right agar main ye pen purchase kar raha hu and i am purchasing it for 8 dollars obviously i will never ever be able or i will never be planning to set a selling price lower than the 8 dollar meri koshish ye hogi ki main iski selling price ko 8 dollar se upar set up karu because 8 dollar ki selling price na to mujhe profit ki taraf contribute kar rahi hogi 
और ना ही मेरी कॉस्ट कवर अप कर रही होगी तो वी नीड टू सेट अप प्राइस ओवर एंड अब द एट डॉलर एट डॉलर इज माई परचेज प्राइस आई नीड टू हैव सेलिंग प्राइस विच इज ग्रेटर देन माई दिस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सेलिंग प्राइस कुछ केसेस में लेस हो सकती है वेरिएबल कॉस्ट से बट ऑब्वियसली फिर वहां पे नजर आ रहा है कि वी आर नॉट एबल टू कंट्रीब्यूट एनीथिंग टुवर्ड्स अवर प्रॉफिट तो बिजनेस विल नेवर अप फॉर एनी प्रोजेक्ट लाइक दिस एनी न्यू प्रोडक्ट लाइक दिस विद द कंट्रीब्यूट विद 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 द सेलिंग प्राइस इज लेस देन द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट क्लियर है गाइस सो लेट्स मूव अहेड एंड लेट्स मूव टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव एनी अदर प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू दिस एग्जांपल जस्ट रेज योर हैंड्स गाइस or you can use the chat bar uh sir function production and non production yes when we categorize cost on the basis of function there can be production related cost there can be non production which is admin selling distribution related cost but right now we just have to stick ourselves towards the concept of fixed and variable that means the concept of classification on the basis of behavior function pe bhi hum aage jayenge that's not a difficult concept obviously डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट variable distribution cost this is actually our non production cost thank you anas <coughs> let's go ahead <coughs> move towards the next example now we will be moving towards the next example guys Example number three. This is going to be example number three. So, example number three. May suppose we are given with an output level, which is in units, and we are given with cost, which is expressed in dollars. we are given with output level we are given with cost suppose we are given with output level of 26000 units and then we are given with output level of 44000 units at 26000 our cost is 49500 and at 44000 units our cost is suppose 63000 right guys we are given with two different activity levels and we are given at the cost structure at two different activity level 44000 units so we are given with the cost of at 26000 it's 49500 and it's 44000 at 44 Thousand units. The cost is sixty-three thousand. Two different activity levels, and we are given with the cost at two different activity levels. Right, kids? Now, sir. If we have this situation, we are given with the data where we are given with cost and at two different activity levels, at two different output levels. That is twenty-six and forty-four thousand. two different output level that is 26 and 44000 और मैं आपसे एक छोटी सी रिक्वायरमेंट पूछता हूं रिक्वायरमेंट नंबर ए इज द अब कॉस्ट अफिक्स कॉस्ट इज द अब कॉस्ट अफिक्सड कॉस्ट इज द अब कॉस्ट अफिक्सड कॉस्ट so 
my question towards you is, is the above cost a fixed cost? ये जो cost है हमें जो structure दिया हुआ है 26,000 units के ऊपर the cost is 49,500 and at 44,000 units the cost is 63,000. What do you think guys? Do you think it's a fixed cost? Do you think guys it's a fixed cost? No sir. So guys, do you think when we are producing 26,000 units, our cost is 49,500 and when we are producing 44,000 units, the cost is 63,000. Do you think guys, this cost is a fixed cost? No sir, this cost is not a fixed cost. No, Omar Amir says, no sir, it's not a fixed cost. Why? Because as the output level is changing, as the activity level is changing, the cost is also changing. Fixed cost ki nishani kya hai? Fixed cost ki pehchan kya hai guys? Ki fixed cost wo cost hai, jo har activity, har output level par kya rehti hai? Constant rehti hai, unchanged rehti hai, unaffected rehti hai. So right now, when we are producing 26,000 units, the cost was 49,500. As we increase the output level, the cost is increasing. Yes, the cost is increasing. Therefore, we cannot call this cost as a fixed cost because the behavior of the fixed cost is that it remains constant, unchanged, unaffected at all activity level, at all output level. Therefore, the above cost cannot be called as a fixed cost. Jo cost girgit ki tana, output level ke change hone se, apna behavior, apna stance change nahi karti, wo cost fixed cost hoti hai. So right now the above cost is not is not a fixed cost. It's not a fixed cost. Got it, guys? Got it, everyone? Yes, sir. So is this cost a fixed cost? No, sir. No, the above cost. No, the above cost is not a fixed cost. No, the above cost is not a fixed cost. No, the above cost. The above cost is not a fixed cost. As the change in output level, as the change in output level is changing the cost. As the change in output level is changing the cost. Right? Requirement number B. Is the above cost a variable cost? Is the above cost a variable cost? Guys, what do you think? Is it a variable cost? Is the above cost a variable cost? Do you think, guys, the above cost is a variable cost at output level of 26,000 units? We had a cost of 49,500, right? At 44,000 units, the cost is 63,000. So, what do you think, guys? Is this cost a variable cost? Output level change or our cost be change or here? So, can we say that this particular cost is a variable cost? Sir, when the output level increases, the total variable cost also increases. But variable cost ko determine pehchan karne ki dusri nishani kya hai guys ke variable cost in total to increase hoti hai but uska jo per unit rehta hai wo kya rehta hai constant rehta hai now we can see the cost is increasing because we are increasing the output level but kya iska per unit cost same hai kya hamari per unit variable cost constant hai if we determine the activity level of both activities, per unit cost, it should be the same. If 49,500 divided by 26,000, per unit cost, and 63,000 divided by 44,000, then we should be the same per unit. Then we can say that this is our variable cost. Otherwise, this cost is not a variable cost. So, what do we have to do with both output levels, per unit cost is the same. No, sir. 
at 49,500 ki cost if we calculate ke 49,500 divided by 26,000 my per unit per unit cost is 1.93 right and when we have 63,000 ki cost the output level is 44,000 the per unit cost is 1.43 there is a change there is a change in the per unit cost so when there is a change in per unit cost we cannot call such cost as a variable cost because variable cost hamesha total mein to increase hoti hai lekin uska per unit proportion hamesha kya rehta hai same rehta hai right guys to aankhon ka dhoka zarur ho sakta hai ki output level badh raha hai cost badh rahi hai to aapne kaha ki sir ye to variable cost hai nahi output level ke badhne se agar cost badh rahi hai to zaruri nahi hai ki wo kya ho variable cost ho jaise har haath milane wala banda aapka dost nahi ho sakta हर चमकती हुई चीज सोना नहीं हो सकती हर बढ़ती हुई कॉस्ट वेरिएबल नहीं हो सकती सिर्फ और सिर्फ वेरिएबल नहीं हो सकती जब तक उसका पर यूनिट क्या हो कांस्टेंट ना हो सो द अब कॉस्ट इज नॉट अ टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इट्स नॉट अ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट बिकॉज द पर यूनिट कॉस्ट एट बोथ आउटपुट लेवल आर नॉट सेम दिस इज नॉट अवर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट गॉट इट गाइज एनी वन विद कंफ्यूजन Anyone with the confusion problem, just raise your hands, guys. Yes, kids. Any confusion? Any problem? Ah, uh, we have some of the chats. All right. Yes. Clear? Hey, clear? Hey, sir. Clear? Hey, okay. Clear? Hey. Let's move on. बेटा so let me let me actually tell you guys everyone who are joining for a2s a2 ke liye jo join kar rahe hain because we have a, we had a delayed starting in session for the as hamara session kisi unknown reasons ki wajah se kisi problem ki wajah se and technical issues ki wajah se thoda late ho gaya tha right we had to start our as session a little late jiski wajah se ab jo as ka session late start hua hai तो ए टू का सेशन भी आप लोगों का लेट स्टार्ट होगा गाइस बट आई एम हेयर ऑल फॉर यू आप लोग अपने आप को अवेलेबल रखें मैं तो यहीं पर हूं आप लोगों के लिए रात भर भी मुझे बैठना पड़ेगा सुबह शाम भी बैठना होगा मैं बैठूंगा आप लोगों की सर्विस के लिए लेकिन थोड़ा सा भी आपको इंतजार करना पड़ेगा किड्स राइट यू नीड टू यू नीड टू वेट अ लिटल वाई यू नीड टू वेट अ लिटल बिकॉज वी हैड अ डिले इन स्टार्टिंग द ए एस सेशन अब हम ए एस का सेशन थोड़ा सा देर से खत्म करेंगे राइट नो इट्स नाइन ओ क्लॉक so we will try to complete our as class by 9:30 9:45 and then and then we can later on we can later on start our a2 session so you will be notified jaise hi aapko lagega ki consignment start up ho raha hai right beta sir approximate exact approximate time for starting a a2 session yes beta uh, it will be somewhere between 9:30 and 9:45 9:45 tak हम लोग स्टार्ट कर लेंगे 9:30 9:45 के बीच में स्टार्टअप हो जाएगा तो यू शुड बी देयर ओके किड्स अनारा प्लीज मेरी तरफ से व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप पे भी सबको बता दीजिएगा कि वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद ए टू सेशन बाय 9:45 एंड आवर टॉपिक फॉर ए टू वुड बी कंसाइनमेंट अकाउंटिंग ऑल राइट किड्स लेट्स मूव ऑन लेट्स मूव ऑन
So do you think the above cost is a variable cost? We'll say no, the above cost is not a variable cost. No, the above cost is not a variable cost. Is not a variable cost. As the per unit cost at both output level are not same. As the per unit cost at both output level are not same. See. Identify the behavior of the cost. Agar hamari above cost fixed bhi nahi hai guys, this is not a fixed cost. The above cost is not a fixed cost. The above cost is not a variable cost. Agar above cost fixed bhi nahi hai, variable bhi nahi hai, to phir ye kya hai sir? Iska matlab it include both the component. It include the element of fixed cost as well as the element of variable cost. Right? That means if our above cost is simply safe or safe fixed, it is not variable, it means that both components are included. It is a fixed, it is a total of total fixed and total variable cost. So what is the behavior of the above cost? The above cost is a sum of total fixed and total variable cost. The above cost is a sum of total fixed and total variable cost. The above cost is a sum of total fixed and total variable cost. Therefore, it is a total cost. Therefore, it is a total cost. Got it, guys? That means, agar hamari jo above cost hai, jo hamari above cost hai forty nine thousand five hundred, iske andar kuch element fix ka bhi hai aur kuch variable bhi hai, right? That means it has some element of fixed, and it also includes some element of variable. Similarly, jo sixty three thousand hai. इसके अंदर भी कुछ एलिमेंट मैं थोड़ा नीचे मेंशन कर देता हूं ताकि यस सर इसमें सर कुछ एलिमेंट फिक्स्ड भी है एंड इट आल्सो इंक्लूड अ वेरिएबल एलिमेंट अब कितना फिक्स्ड है कितना वेरिएबल है दैट वी डोंट नो बट वी नो वन थिंग कि जितना फिक्स्ड अमाउंट 49500 के अंदर है जितनी फिक्स्ड एलिमेंट 49,500 के अंदर है उतना ही फिक्स्ड एलिमेंट 63,000, 63,000, 5, 63,000 के अंदर भी है। पॉइंट के ऊपर फिक्स कॉस्ट क्या है सेम है लेकिन 49,500 के अंदर जो अमाउंट फिक्स कॉस्ट से रिलेट करता है 63,000 के ऊपर भी वही अमाउंट फिक्स कॉस्ट से रिलेट करता है बट कितना ही है दैट वी डोंट नो दैट वी एग्जैक्टली डोंट नो हमें नहीं पता कि सर 49,500 के अंदर कितना एलिमेंट फिक्स्ड है और 63,000 में कितना एलिमेंट फिक्स्ड है बट दोनों पॉइंट्स पे फिक्स कॉस्ट सेम है नाउ अंडर दिस सिचुएशन हम एक तो इस सिचुएशन के अंदर अगर चाहें तो फिक्स कॉस्ट कैलकुलेट करने के लिए हम साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन भी इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं कि हम साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन इसको सॉल्व कर लें लेकिन आसान तरीका अकाउंटिंग का क्या है कि अकाउंटिंग के अंदर इफ यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस थिंग तो वी यूज अ टेक्निक व्हिच इज कॉल्ड हाई लो मेथड हम एक टेक्निक यूज करते हैं व्हिच इज कॉल्ड व्हाट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड व्हाट हाई लो मेथड नाउ व्हाट इज हाई लो मेथड सर हाई लो मेथड है क्या हाई लो मेथड से वी कैन कैलकुलेट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट Hello method help us in calculating the variable 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 cost per unit it help us in calculating the variable cost per unit 
सर हाइलो मेथड से हम वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट कैसे कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं गाइस जैसे कि हमने कल भी डिस्कस किया था कि व्हाट इज द ड्राइविंग फोर्स बिहाइंड द टोटल कॉस्ट व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द एलिमेंट व्हिच इज इंक्रीजिंग व्हिच एलिमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग द टोटल कॉस्ट आउटपुट लेवल के बढ़ने से अगर टोटल कॉस्ट बढ़ रही है तो उसके पीछे किसका हाथ है किसने टोटल कॉस्ट को इंक्रीज किया है हु इज बिहाइंड इंक्रीजिंग द टोटल कॉस्ट इट इज द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट व्हिच इज इंक्रीजिंग द टोटल कॉस्ट बिकॉज फिक्स कॉस्ट तो हर एक्टिविटी हर आउटपुट लेवल पर क्या है सर कांस्टेंट है अनचेंज है अनअफेक्टेड है तो कौन सा एलिमेंट हमारी फिक्स टोटल कॉस्ट को इंक्रीज कर रहा होता है सर इट्स द वेरिएबल एलिमेंट व्हिच इज इंक्रीजिंग द टोटल कॉस्ट तो यूजिंग द हाइलो मेथड वी कैन कैलकुलेट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट बाय यूजिंग अ सिंपल कैलकुलेशन व्हिच स्टेट्स चेंज इन टोटल कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट इज इक्वल्स टू variable cost per unit equals to change 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 ke liye hum ye economics and maths wala b sign use kar sakte hain that is change in total cost divided by change in output level ye triangle kya hai sir ye triangle change represent karta hai beta divided by change in output level so variable cost per unit is change in total cost divided by change in output level so if we go and see ki hamare paas do different output level par 49500 and 63000 ka agar hum change calculate kare so what is the change between 63000 and 49500 63000 minus 49500 the change is 13500 what is change change is 13500 change in cost is change in cost is 13500 divided by change in output level what is change in output level 44000 se hamara output level 63000 pe chala gaya hai to change is 19 19000 26000 se सर सॉरी से हमारा आउटपुट लेवल पे चला गया तो चेंज सर डिवाइडेड बाय तो चेंज इन टोटल कॉस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय चेंज इन आउटपुट लेवल व्हाट इज अवर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव what is this this is variable cost per unit this is our variable cost per unit hilo method se humne apni variable cost per unit calculate ki hai guys this is our variable cost per unit now once we have that variable cost per unit main agar aapse next requirement mein kehta hu ki calculate fixed cost to kya aap log fixed cost calculate kar sakte hain can we calculate fixed cost क्या हम फिक्स कॉस्ट का अमाउंट कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं गाइस कैन वी कैलकुलेट फिक्स कॉस्ट यस सर नाउ वी हैव द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट तो वी कैन कैलकुलेट फिक्स कॉस्ट एज वेल बिकॉज मेरे पास टोटल कॉस्ट है आई हैव द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट तो आई कैन कैलकुलेट द फिक्स कॉस्ट एज वेल कैसे कैलकुलेट करूंगा मैं अपनी फिक्स कॉस्ट I know that when the output level is twenty six thousand, when the output level is twenty six thousand units, my cost is forty nine thousand five hundred, or is forty nine thousand five hundred ke under, is forty nine thousand five hundred ke under, kuch cost fixed hai or kuch variable hai, right? now i know the variable cost per unit mujhe variable cost per unit guys pata hai ki what is my variable cost per unit my variable cost per unit is 0.75 to kya main apni total variable cost calculate kar sakta hu yes sir 0.75 multiply by 26000 units dollar 0.75 multiply by 26000 
0.75 multiplied by 26,000. So what is my total variable cost? My total variable cost comes to 19,500. Sir, now if I know the total variable cost and I know the total cost as well. So total variable cost or total cost can difference say what I can calculate. I can calculate the amount of what fixed cost. Total cost minus total variable cost will give me what fixed cost. That is total cost is. So total cost is 49,500 less total variable cost is 19,500. The total cost to total variable cost cut difference kya hai? that is the fixed cost. And what is my fixed cost? It's 30,000. This is total variable cost, total cost minus total variable cost equals to what? Fixed cost minus total variable cost equals to fixed cost. Now, yehi cheez, sir, dusri activity 44,000 pe bhi prove honi chahiye. 44,000 pe bhi agar hum ye cheez dekhen, to humari fixed cost same honi chahiye, guys. Now, we see Sir, when the output level is 44,000 units, okay guys, when the output level is 44,000 units, your total cost was 63,000. And 44,000 units, pay, when the cost is 63,000, it includes some of the variable cost and fixed cost. Now, what is your variable cost? Variable cost per unit her activity per constant rega, that is 0 0.75 multiply by 44,000 units. So 0 0.75 into 44,000. What is my total variable cost? It's 33,000. Sir, if our total total variable cost is 33,000 and our total cost, what is our total cost? 63,000. 63,000 total cost minus total variable cost, which is 33,000. I can calculate the amount of fixed cost. Hence, prove that her activity, her output level, pe hamari fixed cost kya hai? constant. We have calculated 44,000 fixed cost, calculate ki, that was 33,000. 30, we have calculated our fixed cost at, at 26,000 units. Calculate ki, again, the fixed cost was 30,000. So you see, by using a simple calculation technique that's called the variable cost per unit. Variable cost per unit ko calculate karne ke liye, we can use a simple calculation which is called the HILO method. And variable cost, if there are different activity levels, we can use HILO method use karke variable cost per unit calculate kar sakte because we know that as the output level is increasing, the driving force behind the increase in total cost is what it is the variable element which is increasing the total cost. Because fixed cost to her activity, her output level per kya hai, it's remain it remains constant, unchanged, unaffected. So is there any confusion, any problem, guys? So guys, is there any confusion, any problem? Koi confusion, koi problem, Ms. Kendra? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. All right. Good response, kids. Good response. Done, guys. Betreen. 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 All good, sir. Sir, you best teacher. Best. Bas, beta, we online session. Mein bhi utha rahe ho, yaar. Huh? Any other problem, confusion, guys? 
Sibga says no. Zohair Mateen says, mashallah. Okay. Altamas says, tuck, 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 tuck. No, sir. Perfect samaj gaya. Very good, Lina. Thank you so very much, guys. And um, uh, now we are able to connect to variable cost. We are now able to connect to fixed cost, right? Uh, मैं एक एग्जांपल आप लोगों के लिए छोड़ के जा रहा हूं आप लोगों को ये एग्जांपल नेक्स्ट क्लास तक सॉल्व करना है द नेक्स्ट सेशन होपफुली वुड बी ऑन सैटरडे ऑन संडे यू विल बी नोटिफाइड टुमारो वी विल नॉट बी हैविंग एनी सेशन बिकॉज़ आई वुड बी वर्किंग ऑन प्रिपेयरिंग द वीडियो मैं सुबह से यहां पे लगूंगा मैं वीडियोस बनाऊंगा आप लोगों के लिए राइट और आई हैव सम ऑफ द कमिटमेंट्स टू गो टू स्कूल्स एज़ वेल एंड देन आई विल बी मेकिंग ऑल द डे आई विल बी मेकिंग वीडियोस फॉर यू बेटा ठीक है सो राइट नाउ राइट नाउ व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज we are going to have a one more example for you so aap usko next class tak khatam kar sake theek hai let's move on to the example example number 4 example 4 A business produces a business produces one twenty thousand units per annum. And at that level of production, and at that level of production. and at that level of production and at that level of production the following cost data is available the following cost data is available cost per unit everything given to us over here is given on per unit basis cost per unit direct material dollar 10 per unit direct material dollar 10 per unit direct labor 8 per unit variable overheads dollar 2 per unit fixed overheads dollar 5 per unit fixed overheads are also given on per unit basis dollar 5 per unit now guys again if the selling price the selling price per unit selling price per unit is if the selling price per unit is dollar dollar 45 per unit if the selling price per unit is dollar 45 per unit is dollar 45 per unit calculate calculate the annual profit calculate the annual profit calculate the annual profit calculate the annual profit 
Next, this is requirement number A. Requirement number B. Calculate the output level at which, calculate the output level at which total revenue equals total cost. Calculate the output level at which total revenue equals total cost. At which total revenue equals total cost. Equals total cost. C. C. <clears throat> the sales manager informed that the sales manager informed that if selling price is reduced to dollar, if selling price is reduced to dollar, if selling price is reduced to dollar, 38 per unit, The demand will increase to 150,000 units. The demand will increase to 150,000 units. Calculate. Profit or loss if there is change in selling price calculate profit to loss if there is change in selling price and advise the directors whether the change should be acceptable and advise the director whether the change should be acceptable. Whether the change should be acceptable. Next, a new supplier have entered a market. A new supplier has entered a market, has entered a market. Who is willing to Who's willing to provide the finished product? Who's willing to provide the finished product? Who's willing to provide the finished product? For dollar. For dollar. Fifteen. For dollar twenty five per unit, for dollar twenty five per unit, if if we purchase the product from outside supplier. If we purchase the product from outside supplier, the fixed cost will decreased. The fixed cost will decreased by twenty five percent. will decrease by 25%. Calculate. 
calculate the output level at which calculate the output level at which at which total cost of production is equal to total cost of purchasing from outside supplier total cost of production is equal to total cost of purchasing from outside supplier total cost of purchasing from outside supplier So kids, this is your homework. You need to solve this particular question. Right now, we cannot solve any past paper questions. We need to restrict ourselves, right? <coughs> so, so we will be joining in the next class, uh, which is probably going to be on Saturday or Sunday. I'll let you guys know about it, right? And whatever we have completed would be transferred to your WhatsApp group and also will be available on our YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also uh, you can review the work through your WhatsApp group. Take care, guys. Take care. We will be starting the A2 session in five minutes time. Take care, guys.